In this module, we are going to learn about the differences between a globe and a map and also the different types of maps. So let us begin with what is a globe. A globe is a three-dimensional model of the earth. It helps us to learn about the distribution of land and water on this planet. We also take the help of a globe to learn about the movements of the earth. However, the disadvantages of using a globe to study are number one, it does not show the accurate distance between places. That is, it is not drawn to a scale. The distance that is shown between the land masses and water bodies, they are not accurate. Number two, it also does not give us any detail of a particular landform, a particular area or a water body. Number three, it is not portable. That is, you cannot carry it around. It is not easy. It is not comfortable to carry it around. Maps, on the other hand, are drawings of physical features, an area, a city, a country or the world. These drawings are always drawn to a scale. They are very detailed in nature. They are also portable. It's very easy to fold a map and put inside your bag to carry it from one place to the other. And these days, maps are also available in smartphones to guide people around the city. Next, we come to the types of maps. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about the five types of maps. Number one, political. Number two, physical. Number three, thematic. Number four, road maps. And number five, topographic maps. Let us learn about each one of them a little in detail. Political maps are those that show countries, their capitals, states, cities, the national boundaries, as well as state boundaries. Physical maps, on the other hand, show relief or physical features of a particular place. For example, uh, relief features like mountains, mountain ranges, hills, rivers, etc. The physical maps use different shades of colors to show the height of land or the depth of a water body. They are usually uh, put in a small box which is called the map key or legend at the bottom of a map. The third kind is the thematic map. Thematic maps focus on different themes such as population of a place or a country or the crops grown or the distribution of rainfall across a particular place. So they focus on, they pick up different themes and they put a map on that particular theme. The fourth kind are the road maps, which are widely used these days. They are available in all our smartphones and these maps show the highways, the roads, as well as important uh, landmarks such as airports, parks, important buildings, hospitals, etc. And lastly, the topographic maps, these are uh, somewhat similar to physical maps, that is, they show the relief features. However, the difference is that the topographic maps use contour lines instead of colors to point out a particular relief feature. So they do not have any colors for mountains, hills, plateaus, rivers and oceans. They have contour lines to point out these relief features. So these were the five types of maps that we've covered in this module. Next, let us look into some of the important elements or components or parts of a map which are indispensable. The first one is direction. Direction is the integral part of a map. All maps will have either the north direction pointed out or they'll have the compass showing all four directions. So direction is an indispensable part of a map. Without this, you cannot use the map to guide you or across or around a place. The second one is scale. Maps are usually drawn to a scale. This enables people to calculate the actual distance on the land with the help of the scale mentioned uh, below on maps. The cartographers pay special attention to this while making a map. The scale usually tells you that how many millimeters or centimeters on the map is equal to how many kilometers on the ground. The third element are signs and symbols. There are certain signs and symbols used while making a map and these are universally recognized by all countries. 
these signs and symbols are mentioned in the map key or legend which is another important part of a map it helps us in reading the map so the map key or legend is another important part of a map and it helps us to decode the colors signs and symbols that have been used in the map if you like this video subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends